So have you ever had someone in your life that you just felt was bringing you down or was maybe a constant source of negative energy in your life, maybe a needy friend? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to determine if someone like that is in your life and how to change it. Gonna be a good day, good day, great day with Micah Meyer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to remove negative people from your life. You know, the person that just drains you of happiness. Sometimes we have those people in our life and that's okay. Now, negativity and negative people in your life can be one of the number one drainers in your social and personal success, really. And having a negative person in your life can be so draining. You know, maybe it's that friend who's always asking for relationship advice or career advice, but never really takes your advice and then keeps coming back to you for advice, but they're still making the same dating mistakes or career mistakes over and over. Or someone has an issue and you end up being their on-call therapist. It's draining. And while of course a great friend always listens and is there for the other person too, sometimes it gets to the point where you start feeling exhausted and mentally drained and it's time to make a change in your life because they're bringing you down. So first, how to determine if there is a negative force in your life. You may have heard of an ideology that you are a combination of the six closest people in your life. Now, I really love this. And um, so, you know, the first part of today's lesson is to really stop and make a list of who these six people are that you are closest to in your day-to-day -day life. Now, this could be a parent, it could be a sibling, on your list, or it could be no family at all, and it could just be a list of friends. Um, if you need to take a moment to pause this video right now and make your list, go ahead and do it. It shouldn't be a list of who you want to be on your closest six, but actually who is in your daily life closest um, people. Now, this list could extend to 12 people if you wanted, but you know those could be friends that you love or best friends from years ago that you don't talk to day to day, but I'm talking about those core six that you speak to or that are the most influential in your day-to-day -day life. Now, once you have your six names written down, go through each name line by line and write how that person makes you feel next to their name. For instance, do they make you feel confident and happy um, and joyful and excited? Or do they make you feel upset? Do they make you feel lack of confidence? Do they tell you things that make you question yourself? Um, are they criticizing of you? Um, the, you know, maybe they, it's, it's, you know, there could be a whole list of things that that person makes you feel, but this is a really easy exercise to realize maybe without even knowing that that was the negative dream that was taking it out of you. Now, this list is private and just for you to see. When I go through this exercise personally, um, I do it probably once a year, just as a check-in with myself. Now, when I did this exercise today with you, um, you know, I looked at every single name on this list and I genuinely smile with massive joy um, looking at every name on that list and each one of their names um, and thinking about them make me happy. These are people that lift me and love me and um, support me no matter what. And I have great pleasure in my life doing the same for them. Now, these are two way uh, relationships, really, meaning that we give and we take equally. Um, sometimes more, you know, if you're going through something than another time, and that's okay. But generally speaking, um, these are positive friends in one another's lives. Here's the thing. You know, this wasn't always the case with me. In fact, at one time I did this exercise and realized there was a huge negative force in my life and I had to change that. I'm naturally a very positive person and I love being positive and helpful and giving back to people, but I just realized there was this force that was bringing me day to day down and I had to make a change, um, you know, for me really. And it's going to be the same for you. Now, when I realized that there was this big force on the list that was not in my corner, and although they had outwardly appeared to be supportive, 
they weren't happy for the good in my life and I could feel it and I found out about it and um, through other ways as well. And I knew it was only up to me to change this. And I did. Now, if you're looking at your list and you see the same thing, don't be upset when you realize this. It's very common, actually. You just have to remember that the people in your life, you know, life, they come, they go, people change, relationships ebb and flow, people grow apart and together, um, and that's okay. You know, people can come back onto your list over time. But the truth is, if there's a big negative, you need to make the change and only you can do it. So how do you do this? Well, after I had you know my revelation about my six and that this one negative person was affecting me um, and that this person wasn't in my corner, I was talking to a good friend of mine named Aruna Seth. And um, she's a businesswoman and a great friend of mine from London. And she gave me some great advice. She said, you know, sometimes you need to trim the fat on your friendships. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> At first, I thought probably the same thing you, you just did. What? Trim the fat on a friendship? It sounds so horrible. Um, you can't just discard friends like that. And she said, no, 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 no. That's not at all what I meant. Think about friendship like a big piece of steak. You want to eat and absorb the delicious protein and not get stuck eating that fatty gristle that is not good for you or enjoyable or, or doesn't give anything um, to your meal. So you gently trim it off. Now, this piece of steak is obviously an analogy for friendships. You don't just throw away the whole steak. Uh, you slowly and over time trim it off until just the good parts left. Now, the reason why you don't just pull the plug the moment you realize one of your six may be that negative drain in your life is because you never want to hurt someone else. That's really important here. You don't ever want to just ghost someone or um, you know somebody who was or is important in your life. You don't ever want to make them feel awful. Um, you know, no matter how awful they make you feel, it doesn't matter. We never want to you know give back any kind of negativity to those around us. So instead, I want you to take a more gradual approach. So first, start adding a seventh person into your daily list. It will take a little effort to reach out and make plans or randomly call or text or check in with that person. Maybe they live close, maybe they live far, um, but soon you'll see that by bringing this person into your life, they start reciprocating your care. And over time, sometimes short time, they become part of your six. Now, the person who is that negative part that you want to trim out of your life, either forever or maybe just for a certain amount of time, um, you want to slowly remove day-to-day -day contact and interaction with, or maybe a social dependence from. Maybe you don't respond back to every text as fast as you did in the past. Um, instead, you maybe make plans with them um, if you used to see them every weekend, maybe you start with every other weekend at first. Now, keep yourself focused and busy with the positive people in your life, the positive influences and activities and friends and family, and stop prioritizing the negative person. Over time, the trimming becomes easier, and sometimes you may even have to you know, wean a little bit the, that negative force out of your life, and that's okay. We have to do it in a delicate way and so that we, of course, are never giving any kind of negativity back to that person because that's not the point of this. Your goal at the end of this exercise is to always fill your six with the people that make you feel amazing and that you do the same for them. It may be hard and it is very delicate in terms of being a delicate situation. It's true, it can be. Um, but I promise you from experience, there's nothing greater than knowing the people around you, those six people, your core, are the best. You may need to even go out and meet new people to fill your six and that's okay, that's great too. I hope you found that helpful and you practice this exercise and maybe you're happy with your six and that's amazing. Um, and if you're not, you know what to do. You can tell from my experience it can be done and you'll end up feeling more fulfilled, grateful, positive, and happy. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, share, like, thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you all next time.